Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Eddie Shack meant a lot to the teams he played for. He hit the 25 goal mark with five different squads over the years, including Toronto, Boston, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and uh, uh, L.A. But what about the times he was traded for a myriad of players who eventually won Stanley Cups and uh, almost won a Stanley Cup? So today in our short podcast, we're going to be talking about the many trades of Eddie Shack, and you got to bear with me because truth is stranger than fiction, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the idea about Eddie, Eddie Shack being, uh, being traded came, a, came as a common, uh, common occurrence, uh, especially the, uh, the Red Kelly uh, deal. Now, this was in 1960, where Kelly allegedly had played most of the, the campaign on a, a broken leg and a trade uh, that involved uh, a fellow teammate for Bill Gatsby and uh, Eddie Shack to Detroit was nixed uh, by the league because Kelly decided to retire rather than report. But when he did report, he decided to continue his all-star career in Toronto. And uh, let me tell you something, it, uh, it all put together. Now, Red Kelly had, uh, had an indication that something was up when he was allegedly Detroit management. He didn't want to get rid of him, but he didn't want to, to basically let the league uh, know that uh, there was there was dangers here. So we're going to go over again the trades of for Eddie Shack, and uh, quite uh, you know. Uh, to the Rangers, February 5th, 1960. Now, the trade was voided two days later after Kelly McNeil refused a report and Clarence Campbell g- gave a break on it. Now, Eddie Shack eventually found his way to Toronto on November 7th, 1960 for Pat Hannigan and Johnny Wilson. Now, with Toronto, he won four cups, but as soon as he won the four of four cup, he traded him for, of all people, the, the good uh, defensive two-way player Mary Oliver for Boston, very controversial at the time. From there, we all knew he was going to end up back in, uh, back in Toronto, but we didn't know how soon. Literally, it took about a half decade. Eventually, in 1969, he was traded to L.A. with Ross Lonsbury, who went on to win two, two cups with, uh, with the, the Flyers. And it involved two number one draft picks of all things, and Ken Turl- Turlick. This trade was quite interesting. There was one 1971 first round pick and a 73 first round pick. Ended up being Ron Jones and Andre Savard. Now, the thing is, they were gambling that LA would finish last and he would get some, some talk picks. But at the time, LA was improving. He got two uh, number sixes. Now, the organizers of the Sabres needed some toughness, decided to pick up uh, Eddie and Dick Duff on November 24, 1970, after the start of the regular season for Mike McMahon, a seven-round pick and an eight-round pick would end up being Pete Harrison and Lauren Stammer. Now, ironically, when when the uh, uh, the the Penguins wanted Eddie Shack, they said, well, we have this young Frenchman that is a pretty good player. Maybe you can use him. Who is that? The third and one of the key cogs of the French connection, Reddy Robert. So it wouldn't be for Eddie Shack trade, uh, Reddy Robert would have never showed up in the Sabres. Uh, kind of an afterthought. Now, when Toronto finally got Eddie Shack back in 1973, which was almost uh, a miracle because a lot of people said that uh, Toronto was worse uh, without him. With Toronto, he strengthened the team and they were on a pace to probably win a Stanley Cup in the mid 70s. But with the Flyers and other key teams added him, including Montreal, it didn't work out. So, how it works here. Red Kelly won four cups with Toronto. He was uh, traded for Eddie Shack. It was voided. Eddie Shack eventually showed up in Toronto, not Detroit, helped Kelly win those four cups. Uh, Lonsbury eventually ended up with the Flyers, <coughs> winning those two cups. Reddy Robert almost helped Buffalo with a cup in 75. And Andre Savard was a key player for Boston in a number of years, who eventually became a key player with the Nordiques. So within... 13 years, Eddie Shack was part so much of NHL history. But what I wanted people to think about, 
if, if Eddie Shack had scored 20 goals with five different initial teams and showed great skill on and off the ice, should he be in the Hockey Hall of Fame? Well, if entertainers get into their Halls of Fame, I think Eddie Shack more than deserving. you got to look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Scoring 20 goals with five different teams, four cups, and the, the amount of popularity and dedication. I really believe that Eddie Shack should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame, not because of how popular he is, and not because he had a nose for value, but because he was just that good. You can't score 20 goals plus with five different teams in the area he skated and play with a different system. Like I said, Buffalo, Toronto, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, 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 LA, all the all the great uh, teams. So let's look at let's look at the rough stats uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, just to put uh, uh, put this in perspective. Uh, let me call this up here. Now, uh, Eddie would uh, you know people the people blew his horn because he was basically so much. Dedicated to uh, to hockey. Uh, okay, you can tell we're live, uh, don't you? So, ladies and gentlemen, rough stats again. Uh, the the, 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 uh, the first twenty goal season. He had 22 goals with L.A. in 1970. And he had a grand total of 27 combined with the Kings and Buffalo in 71. Then he went to Pittsburgh, again, 25 goals in 73. He didn't really uh, put out as much uh, later on with uh, Toronto. But again, five different clubs. But he, he hits a lot of notes for me for the Hockey Hall of Fame. More than 1,000 games, 239 big goals. 465 points and dedicated uh, playoff play with 70 to 74 games. Although he only scored six goals, again, the toughness on the ice that he had not not the uh, not the type of person to back down from any confrontation. So again, part of hockey history, four-time Cup winner, uh, a good uh, player. Although his defensive numbers weren't really strong in the later part of his career, he was always dedicated to being the best player he could be on the ice. And again, he stirred it. And <laughs> clear the track, here comes Shaq. Can, but you can imagine the reaction of the public to put Eddie Shaq in the Hockey Hall of Fame? Not only because what he did, but what he meant to hockey. You might never see it, but why, if you don't talk about it, it'll never happen. It's like... Uh, it's like uh, Beetlejuice. If you say it three times, maybe Michael Keaton would show up. But I believe Eddie Shack for what he's done for hockey and for what he did with all those good teams he played for besides Toronto, he deserves to be in the Hockey Hall of Fame, in my personal opinion. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe, or share. And don't forget, uh, requests are always, always appreciated and always, always considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.